Hey guys, today I wanted to do a get ready with me. This is going to be like a chit chat kind of deal. I'm not really going to edit too much, hopefully, um, just because I don't want to. I just kind of want it to be more organic and I'm not even in my filming setup. I don't have any lights on me right now. You're in my window. Like, you're just hanging out, getting ready with me. And sometimes when I do these videos, I like to make them a lot more professional while being at my vanity and stuff and that's not my vanity sorry at my bed and that's nice but i thought today i just wouldn't do that just because i'm going to be filming a bunch of videos in front of my bed making it a little bit more professional i guess if you want to call it that and i kind of just felt like making this a little bit more chill so hopefully you don't mind but you can let me know if you prefer when I use my nicer camera for these or if you just like this where it's a little bit more like laid back and chill and stuff so let me know because I will definitely consider your opinions so what am I putting on my face at the moment I am doing the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer recently I have just been going through my products and really thinking about what I have so I saw this and I don't think I've used this within the past year and I don't have that much left so I thought hey I'll just use this up and then it'll be done and I don't have to use it anymore but honestly I used it yesterday and it made my foundation look insanely smooth so I'll keep you posted and um, I'll, I'll see how it looks with the foundation so speaking of foundation I'm using the bourgeois healthy mix serum with this brush from elf it's the ultimate blending brush I think it's called. I hate how they took away the names of their brushes off the handle because they used to have them on there and then they took it off and that just annoys the crap out of me um, because people who want to know the name can't know the name. Ugh, I look so funny whenever I do my foundation like honestly but it's okay. What the heck has been happening guys? I don't even I don't even know where to start like I don't even know what I want to talk about I have a gross zit right there we're just going to do that huh yeah I don't I don't know so oh fun facts I've been getting very into skincare recently and I don't know why I watch a lot of people who are into skincare but I just would never really watch those videos and it just never really phased me but more recently I've actually been into it so I just oh I just like hit my throat do you ever do that like try to talk while you're putting on makeup around your neck and then you just like hit yourself or something and then your voice goes really weird because that always happens to me in tutorials I'll be like doing my makeup and have to stop when I do this part just because it sounds really weird but yeah anyway maybe that's just a me problem probably right so Oh yeah, skincare. So I've been buying a lot of things and I know I've heard from a lot of different people that drugstore skincare is really not doing anything for your skin. That's what I've heard different people say, whether it's true or not. I, I don't know. I'm not like in a place to judge or like know the difference, I guess. I'm kind of not really educated on that stuff basically, but I've heard that's a thing and I decided to just try it anyway. So anyway, long story short, I bought the drugstore skincare and I do like one of the things, I think, but the other one, I used it I think two or three days in a row and it started to make my skin dry and just like cake, like not cakey, what's the word? Flaky, another rhyme. So that was really annoying because that always happens to me. Um, I'll really like a skincare product and then I'll start using it a little bit more regularly and it'll just not be good for my skin because my skin is like sensitive and dry I guess like if I don't put products on it it's pretty much normal skin but if I try to try different things on it then it starts to get more sensitive and dry all right I'm gonna go in now with my hard candy glam I dropped it glamouflage concealer and this is not sanitary, please don't do this at home. I used it for the first time, when was it, yesterday I think? <clears throat> and I actually didn't hate it. I thought I hated this and that it was way too light for me. 
but I think I was just trying to use too much. So what I do is I basically, I mean, I've only done this now two times, but what I've done is just put this under my eyes and then take the remaining parts and put it on different parts of my face. So that way I'm like getting not too much product underneath my eyes because I think that was my issue. I had too much there and then it looked really bad. I think I might have done too much today, but it's okay because it's a filming day. And I'm actually filming like three million videos, I think, if we're gonna be realistic here. Yeah, no, but I think I'm filming like, mm, I don't even know, nine videos, I think. I look ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been like, okay. Okay, another story. I have so much to talk, to talk about. It's insane, apparently. I didn't think I did, but hey. So I've been, obviously, at my job, and sometimes I have a little bit of time to just, you know, I could read or, like, do little things while I'm waiting around for different things. I don't really want to give away what I do too much, but yeah. So um, just waiting around, I can sometimes find time to do different things that I personally would want to do. So I bought a planner and uh, I've been kind of just planning my life and stuff like that. Nothing super crazy and intense. I'm not going to be one of those people who like actually go crazy with planning, but I am like, if I want to go home and watch a movie, I'll just like write that down, things like that. So I've been just writing things down in the planner to honestly keep me sometimes occupied at my job just because it can get a little boring. And um, I started writing down video ideas instead of putting them in my phone just because I don't really want to be on my phone while I'm at my work. I'd rather be like writing something, you know? And I started doing that and then some videos I even started going a little bit more in detail, like started kind of outlining what I want to talk about or something, which honestly is a really good idea for me because there's so many videos I want to film and then I go to film them. This is probably still a little bit too light for me. Yeah, I'll just like bronze my face up a little bit because I feel like I look way too white. This is a little over dramatic in the viewfinder, but it's still kind of a little bit too much. So there are so many videos that I want to film and then when I go to film them on like my filming day, which in the school year, I would film all my videos basically on Saturday or Sunday, but it would mostly be Saturday. And now it's on Friday, so that's what today is. And I found that there were a bunch of videos that I would want to post, but I just never really had the, I don't know, like I didn't have much of a thought process behind them. And when I would go to film them, they would just be a little bit too scattered. And sometimes I like that. Like right now, I have no idea what the next word out of my mouth is going to be, but still, it's fun. Um, and that's kind of the direction I was going in for a lot of my videos. For example, I... I'm posting a college process video today basically telling all the seniors for the upcoming year like how what to expect and all that different stuff and I think that if I just would have started talking just the way that my words were trying to go wouldn't flow as nicely and wouldn't probably get my point across but because I like kind of planned it out a little bit it worked nicely so you know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do like planning my videos a little bit, but I don't plan them out word by word or anything. It's more just like, I don't know, an idea. Like I'll just do some bulleted points. Like, oh, talk about the SAT, for example. That's what I had, so. Yes, living. This, oh, by the way, I set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've gone through like two of those, I think, already. Love it. And this is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. My chair is so squeaky, it's annoying. And now I'm using Benefits Bravo. This was a free gift I got at Ulta. Free gift. Yeah, yup, like, not bad. If you guys have the Ulta magazine coming to your house, like, legit, you have to go through it and look at it. I never really look at magazines, so I would never go through it. Maybe just, like, really quickly and that would be it. But I actually went through it and I saw a coupon or like a free voucher I guess for one of these or their new brow gel and it's still a sample size but it's huge and I thought that this little primer thing would be really dumb because who needs an eyebrow primer like that's a little much no 
I actually really like it. I don't think I would repurchase it just because, I don't know, it's probably really expensive and what's, I think that might be a little bit too much for me right now, but I like it for the time I'm using it. So that's the kind of set, which is really weird that your eyebrows have to like dry before you can continue, but hey, that's life. I think I'm going to go in and contour. I think I want to use this. I love this so much, you guys. This is from Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee, their contouring palette. I also love the banana powder in here, but I just set my eyes so I don't want to cake it on too much because that honestly is not good for me since I have dry skin, so, or normal skin. I don't know. At the moment, it's a little bit more normal. I love this. I'm using the e.l.f. contouring brush, and all I do is just find the cheekbone and swipe under it, and I think it gives me such a nice natural contour, and then I just move on with my day. Kidding. What a funny joke. Oh my god, be a comedian, please. <laughs> but then I just go in with the angled blush brush from e.l.f., <laughs> and oh, it just gives me such a nice contour. It looks so harsh on camera. But in person, it's be like beautiful, like beautiful. So I'm gonna leave it like that, even though on this camera it looks too much. Um, when I have the lights on and stuff, and actually filming, like with my huge camera, it'll all be okay. Oh, oh it's all pretty. And then I don't think I want to use this on other parts of my face. I'm going to try to use a product I don't really use ever. Like, honestly, I don't remember the last time I've used it. This is Elf's, what is it called? Maui. And I'll go in with a fluffy kind of not super stiff brush from BH. And I'll just kind of bronze. See, I'm not really seeing anything on my face. Maybe a little bit, actually. I don't know. Remember, I was so excited when I bought this, like, Four years ago, maybe. I know it's probably too long to still be using it, but I am, so like, mm, oops. But I just, like, it's it's fine. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. We'll see. I'm not going to knock it quite yet. Okay, I know I use so many e.l.f. brushes, but, like, honestly, I just can't stop. They're so good. E.l.f., can we talk, love, like, very weirdly, like, bronzed and highlighted right now? It'll be better. Elf. Okay, we're gonna talk about that because I love them so much. By the way, they don't they don't know me. Um, not that you were like oh, Brooke talking about another sponsored brand. Like I've never been sponsored. Hey, but um, where is this? There we go. They are raising their prices and not like super crazy. They're still a lot cheaper than most brands, but still, it just gets to me. I fell in love with Elf when they had. A $1 line, a $3 line, and what was it? A $5 line. It was the Essential Studio and Mineral line, and that was it. And now, like, they're, I'm so excited they're, that they're expanding. Can't speak. But at the same time, it does make me a little sad because I feel like they're going to lose their kind of more humble appeal, maybe. You know what I mean? Because now they're kind of starting to partner with really big people and I'm just kind of afraid of that but which is really dumb because they're a brand and not a person but still weird fear oh by the way that was max blush and stay pretty so you know stay pretty folks by the way this brush my mom bought me this little set from Nordstrom Rack a few years ago and those are probably some of my favorite brushes of all time. They're really scratchy though, so I don't know why I keep using it, but I do. And honestly, I really enjoy them. So if by any chance you happen to see a set that comes with this brush, it's just called Blush. I love it for my blush. It's probably the brush I use every single time I ever do blush, honestly. I will switch it up every now and then, but not often. I love it. I think it's incredible. If, like I said, you're looking... Um, for cheaper brushes that they're not like super soft like elf or something that's super cheap line I'm <laughs> just talking about them but still it's like the perfect size and density and flexibility I love it I just use wet n wild reserve your cabana which look at all that pan this thing is huge like it's a fourth of my face probably it's huge and the fact 
that I've gotten that much pan on it. Be proud. Please be proud. Um, I want to bronze a little bit more. So I'll go in with Hoola. I'm going to contour, I think, my nose. I've also hit pan in this. Like, I do use my products, which is good. But then I also have freak moments where it's like, I've never used this product. I need to do that. Ugh. Makeup used to be so much more fun for me than it is now, I think. Not like I, not that I don't like makeup, but I don't know if it makes sense. I think the more you have, the more you're worried about trying to use. And that's kind of the part I'm in. Like, I still love makeup, and I still buy a lot of it, and I still want to buy a lot of it. But it's really weird that I feel like I've kind of lost the novelty of it. Just because I'm always worried about using things up and making sure they don't go bad. I think I need to kind of maybe step away from project pans after I finished the one I'm in right now. Like I love project panning, but I think it stresses me out. That was Hula. Did I mention that? Don't know. I'm gonna kind of blend everything together with this powder brush from e.l.f. <laughs> Just because I like to have more of a seamless look and I feel like I'm a little bit like super white right here. Super dark right here. You know, we'll work with it. I feel like normally in these things, I don't know what to talk about, but right now I'm talking so much that I can't stop. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I love this. It's a dupe of the Benefit Give Me Brow I've heard. I've never tried that one, but from what I've seen, like brush-wise and people's videos comparing them, it does seem like a dupe. Why is this going so in and out of focus? This camera, it used to be really good, and I think it... Like, if you bought it new, it would still be good, but it's starting to die on me a little bit. Like, the quality. I use it for basically, I use it for all my vlogs, not basically, all of them. And I used to use this for my main channel videos until the, until Christmas of 2015. Yeah. I got this cam, well, not this camera, I got a, the Canon T5. Which, if you have any knowledge of the Canon T5, like, not just basic knowledge that makes sense, like how to turn it on and how to um, focus it on things, but if you have, like, a little bit more knowledge of, like, the secret tips in it, or, like, the secret tricks and different things that you could utilize with it, could you, like, honestly let me know in the comments? And we could talk because honestly, I really don't know everything about it. And I feel like I'm wasting so many possible features of that camera just because I don't know everything about cameras ever. Ever, sorry. And a lot of my friends like don't really know anything about them. Um, so I don't really know who to ask. And I figure maybe one of you might know. So if you do, please let me know. That was like the first breath I think I've taken all video. I'm going to use my Lorac Pro palette. I think I probably use this in like every video. I do use other palettes, but today I want to focus on using these colors on my face. This is a lip product and this is an eyeliner, both from NYX. I'll talk about them more as I'm using them, but because of that, I want to have more of a matte neutral base just because I think that that would make the most sense if I want to make my look look as natural as possible, you know what I mean? So I'm going to start with cream, I think. Just perfect for all over the lid. And I'm going back to my eyebrows, probably. But sometimes I just hit my heater. Sometimes I just walk out of the house with my eyebrows like this. Sometimes I will add more, so I might add more, but I just want to see how it compares with the look. Oh, I could have blend blended the primer a little bit more right here. That's okay. We'll work with it. I think I'm going to go in with taupe and just look at that's so pigmented. And I'm using a really huge fluffy brush just so it's more of a shadow than anything. I don't want this look to pull too pink and I don't want it to pull too warm or too cool. I honestly just want it to be very natural on the eyes because we're having such a weird pop. Sorry, I stopped talking. I really never use the shade taupe just because I feel like it's not dark enough and it's a little bit too warm and everything, but I'm getting an appreciation for it. It's a Wet n Wild brush, by the way. I got a Dollar Tree and I like it a lot. I have any brush that looks kind of similar to this is from Wet n Wild that I've been using. I think I just used this one, but still. Okay, um, I think 
think that might honestly be all of the shadow I want to do. Maybe? I'm going to take a little bit of white for some reason on this overly large face brush I thought I would use right here because like that doesn't that's not ideal for what I'm doing right now but I'm still using it I don't know why I don't think I want to do anything else so I think I'm going to line my eyes first I've never used a colored liner like super light like this um and I tried to use it when I bought it like that night just to see how it went and it wasn't honestly like my favorite look ever so I think I need to line my eyes with something that gives me definition and then kind of go in with the color so I can't talk while doing this focus please thank you I feel like Ariana Grande every time it goes out of focus like focus on me by the way if you have any questions about what I'm using and I forget to mention like I didn't mention this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner and trooper um things like that just ask me and I will answer your comment because that's what I do. I love answering you guys and talking. Hey, okay, now, moment of truth. I'm so afraid to use this. I'm gonna shake it up a lot just to make sure it's not gonna be super runny. I don't think this product really is though. It seems to be nice. I don't like how this is how much product you get and this is how long the wand is. Like maybe I'll find that that's really necessary for something like this, but that's just insane to me. Okay, um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll start on the outer corner, I guess. Basically just going over the black line I just created, so what's the point, but. I know you really can't see, but this camera just goes in and out of focus. Like every time I blink, basically. So if that doesn't bother you, then here you go. I mean, it's purple, but I think it dries a little bit darker than this. I'm just gonna do the other side. If you guys saw maybe a haul video or something, I don't know, I talked about this palette, which is Smashbox Double Exposure. I always forget the name of it. And this shade right here, if you have this palette, is insane for under the lash line. I really think this palette is super hit and miss, but that one shade, incredible. And I love to use it with this brush. This is from e.l.f., the Essential line, so it's $1, which maybe moved up to 2 now. e.l.f. Uh, this is the one that is the Professional Defining Eye Brush. So it's super, super fluffy, like really doesn't have much density to it, but I love it for smoking out lash lines. I just think it's incredible. And this shade, for some reason, looks insane under the lashes. It's like burgundy, but brown, but a little bit red, like slightly purple, just love it. And it doesn't even look that good without bottom mascara on, but once you do that, you are golden. I'm also going to do lashes, I think, too. So either that's going to make the purple look better or worse. I'm going to line my eyes with Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Smoke Out. I got this as a 500 point park with like eyeshadows. Uh, what else? Maybe one other thing. I can't remember. And that was an insane, insane perk. So sometimes their perks are insanely good at Sephora. I have been watching a lot of people's videos where they're, well, basically this one person, um, I love her videos. Meg's Makeup 8. If you don't watch her, please watch her. She's honestly so incredibly humble and just like a real person, you know? And I just, I love when you watch people and you just get a sense that they're like that exact same person in real life. I love that. And she was basically talking all about, well, she, okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. If you don't watch her, you wouldn't know, but she basically used to buy a lot of makeup. And now she kind of um, really limits her spending, really thinks about what she's buying before she buys it. And I have been watching her through this entire journey. I think I've been watching her for maybe a year and a half to two years or so. And... It's really crazy and I just I love watching her videos on like um, she has a bunch of different videos talking about saving more and why she doesn't spend so much and just random different things I've just always been super intrigued by the way she talks like she's one of those people where I could just honestly watch them talk about pickles like honestly I don't care what it's about I'm just so intrigued and I, it got me thinking the more I watch her I just used to watch her more for entertainment 
and um, not really living the lifestyle that she's trying to live. Um, but recently, it's really been affecting me and it's been, been making me think a lot about if I am wanting to, you know, do these things and stop spending so much money on makeup and different things like that. Like, it's really made me think about it a lot more. And I'm not saying right here, right now, that I'm not going to buy makeup, you know, ever again. Or I'm not going to buy makeup tomorrow or possibly the next day. Like, I'm not saying that. I don't think, like, she never thought she could do it. And now she's doing it. But I don't think I can do it. But also, I don't think I would want to do it. <sighs> I don't know. I really can't decide, like... I think the amount of makeup I have right now can be a little overwhelming, but at the same time, I love it. Like, I love the options. I, I honestly sometimes just open my drawers and just look at my makeup just because it's something that genuinely brings me happiness. Because when I look at it, I don't see, wow, this is making me beautiful because otherwise I'm not. Like, I don't see it for that reason. I literally see it and just think, that that is just such a creative thing and I don't know I'm just I'm thinking about it a lot more recently because of her and it's really making me think about if I really would go down that path and I keep saying that I wouldn't but then I keep watching her videos and I'm still a little bit unsure about that so I don't know if you watch her, her, sorry, can't speak, or I feel like I say that all the time, sorry, can't speak, but it's true, I don't know how to speak. Um, I don't know if you watch her or if you just have thought about that or if maybe you live that lifestyle now of really buying like a few lipsticks and only having a few compared to like 20, 30, 40, I don't even know how many I have, honestly. I just... I don't know. I love watching her videos and I'm so proud of her, of how, how much she's accomplished. But I just don't know if, like, I want to do that slash if I could do it and all the different stuff. Like, I'm just not sure. So I think that's why project panning for me is so great because I'm using things up and, you know, not just forgetting about a bunch of things in my collection. I'm actually using them. So I think that's good, but I know this is so itchy, but I don't know. I just, I'm very unsure about how I feel about that for me. You know, I'm gonna intensify my eyebrows a little bit. Welcome back to my face. This has been a really fun video for me and I feel like I'm being very scattered, but I really kind of don't care. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to use this, which is the BH Cosmetics Flawless <clears throat> Brow Trio. I use this shade. This is a medium, and like, those are so, so dark. I can't use either of these, so I only go for this one, and I've been using it a lot. Like, not a super stiff brush, so I think this is good for if I just kind of want to throw in a light wash of color compared to precisely sculpting. Like, my eyebrows... A year ago. Ugh. Ugh. If you want me to do like a brow routine tutorial, really going in depth with all the different products I use and why I use what when I do and the rotation because I have different ones that I rotate through. If you want a whole video on that, let me know because the last one I did was just don't watch it. I honestly, like I've said before, consider. I have considered taking it down just because it's so bad, but I'll leave it up because that was me at one point in life. These are Salon Perfect 615 lashes, by the way. I love these though. I heard about them from Emily Noel83, probably one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Actually, I'm filming that video today for my favorite YouTubers, so she's probably in it. Really can't even see the purple anymore. I think I might have to do it on top of the lashes. It's really hard though because the thing is so long and my lashes are so long right now, so I can't really get in there. You really can't tell, but 
it's okay. I kind of want to get like a cobalt blue liner. I think NYX probably would have one. NYX is like really great for having colorful makeup. If you're like me and sometimes you like to wear purple um, on your lips, that's like a kind of a weird color. They have it. Maybelline also has a bunch of new colors for lips. Do you guys ever think about like who you were a year ago or two years ago or three years ago? I don't know why, but it's just, I've really been focusing on, like, the past me, and it's probably just because I'm going away to school and stuff, and I'm really entering a new chapter in my life that I really, I haven't really entered a new chapter in my life in a while. Honestly, since I probably went into high school, that was, like, the last big chapter, and I don't know, but I've just been thinking a lot about who I was, like, four years ago or something. And uh, it makes me like so emotional about it. Like I don't, I don't know why I get so like overcome with emotion about it, but I do. And it's just, it's hold on, hold on. There we go. I just, I get so overcome with emotion whenever I think about it because, uh, like, I think the past me would just be so impressed and just proud of. Who I am now like I haven't done anything crazy I haven't you know found like a cure for anything insane or I don't know I just I haven't like to the world I haven't done anything but to me I've done so much you know and it's not like I've made an impact on the earth or people in the world maybe some people because of my videos, who knows, but thinking a lot about old me versus new me, and I, well, I, I'm still obviously the same person, I just think that through time I just matured and really come into my own, and I mean obviously I'm going to change a lot in the next few years, and all throughout my life probably, but I just feel very... Like, this is who I'm meant to be, you know? And it's crazy because I look back on some of the things I've done throughout my entire time on the planet in existence, which has been almost 18 years, and I'm just like, oh my god, Brooke, like, why did you do that? Or, I would never do that now, and I don't know. Wow, my lashes look like literally spiders. <laughs> like, those ones are fake, but these ones are real. Not bad. Um... But yeah, i am just been really thinking about that and just reflecting on, wow, I am such a different person than I thought I would be. Which I don't even know what I thought I would be. I never really thought about it, I guess. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to be in the future either. If you're wondering, this is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. And I like it. I used to love it and then i went through a phase where i'm like i don't really like this and now i'm back in like that mm, it's really great <laughs> so that's honestly what i've been thinking a lot about recently just who i was who i am and it's weird because i'll think about things i've done in the past like random things things that i guess don't really matter but to me i'm just like oh why did i handle that like that or why did I say that in that situation? Like things that I'm like I still can remember from like three, four, five, six years ago, um, and I'll just think about that. And it's I guess it's just really made me a more compassionate person. Not that I was a bad kid or anything. I really don't think I was. I just was a kid, and I made mistakes and nothing crazy but just little things here and there it's a lot to think about for sure honestly i think about these things all the time i'm such a reflective person which i think is a good thing to be reflective because then you're always trying to improve on what you just were you know by the way if you're wondering i'm going to talk like this because if i was watching this this would really annoy me this is the nyx liquid suede cream lipstick in this in the shade sway and i just used the nyx vivid brights in vivid blossom this is obviously like i said less of a tutorial and more just like talking while i'm putting on makeup but still um i saw i love how i can turn the applicator like this and just like put it onto my lips compared to like 
a doe foot normally would be. I think that's really cool. I learned about the shade from OK Baby Kira. If you watch them or K Baby, that's like her own channel, but the vlog channel that she and her boy and her son are on is OK Baby. And she wears this sometimes. And I fell in love. And I think it looks a lot better on her. But I still wear it. Um, I was talking to my friend about this yesterday. And I was telling him how even though I wear... Like, I wear a lot of weird makeup that doesn't necessarily make me feel pretty. But I just like it. Um, and that's like one of these things right now. Like, I don't feel like beautiful when I wear this but I just feel like it's cool so that's why I like to wear it you know I feel like being feeling like makeup makes me look cool or like different or fun is a lot different than pretty but I do feel pretty when I wear makeup sometimes too um most times more like I look at myself and I'm like why well, you look weird <laughs> and I like that I don't know why it's such an art form for me so I'm so I feel like I'm so different than what a lot of people do when they do their makeup. They try to, you know, look a certain way because they want to feel good, which is totally okay. But for me, it's, it's a little different sometimes. I think I want to add a little bit more in the crease just because I'm lacking something. Um, maybe I'll use some of that lower lash line color and just slightly buff it in, nothing too intense. I barely put anything on my brush. This is my look. And I'm going to be filming a bunch of videos. I might change the lip color throughout the videos if I don't end up loving it. Who knows? Ooh, I could do a little bit of this shade, Hoodoo, which actually was the little palette I got for my 500 point perk. Okay, that's good-ish. It doesn't look like I made a difference, but it did. All right, I think I'm going to go. I have, like I said, a few videos to film. By a few, I mean like a lot. Which, I mean, for me, it's not a lot, but like, grand scheme. I get it, that's a lot, so I'm gonna go. This looks super weird on camera, but I promise it makes a lot more sense in person. I don't know, it's still kind of intense, but I like it, I think. Um, thank you so much for watching this little get ready with me. It was a lot of fun. I think my hair, ooh, it has something in it. I think I'm going to leave my hair straight and brush it out a little bit. This is my hair natural, so. It has a little bit of like a tiny baby wave, which you probably can't tell because it wasn't that fun. But other than that, this is my hair. So yeah, I'm going to go. Love you to pieces. Thank you so much for watching. This little get ready with me was super fun to do. If you want more of these, please let me know because I'm not really sure if I'm boring or if it's fun or like what you're feeling. So please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.